Terror sweeps Melbourne as the tickler's rampage continues and a local business in trouble as milkshakes struggle to bring boys to the yard. Good afternoon, this is Deacon News with Tony and Kate. Today, the Matilda celebration continues with benefits for the local community and some local contributions to the weather report. Australia's economic conditions continue to harden with rising inflation levels, profits and margins are steadily decreasing. While some weather the storm, none feel more than our local business owners. Calvin Tan was on the scene. Mr Kellis has been setting out milkshakes for the past three years. He claims it brings all the boys to the yard, yet he hasn't seen any results. Mr Kellis hopes that his is better than yours and has been trying different flavours to draw them out. He's tried chocolate, strawberry, banana, lactose-free and vanilla. I've been spending $10 per milkshake and I, I set up three or four of them on display and that's like $200, $300 per week. And I, I've tried to make them bigger, but that's so many losses of hours for goodbye yarding. If Mr. Kellis continues at this rate, he'll be losing roughly $15,000 per year annually, which sending him into financial ruin. I always thought I had the best milkshakes. I was like, damn right. It's a family business and the yard is empty. I don't know what could possibly bring them. This has been Calvin with Deacon News. There will be more at noon. Looks like you may have to charge a little bit less, Kate. <laughs> Maybe then the boys will go crazy. In an ongoing investigation, police are still on the hunt for the fugitive known as the Tickler, as the number of tickle attacks dramatically increase. With attacks now taking place in broad daylight, newfound footage has surfaced in hopes to aid the investigation. Viewer discretion is highly advised. An increase in impromptu tickle attacks has taken Melbourne by storm over the last couple of weeks, with some left furious at a man known as the Tickler. He is a self-proclaimed reigning champion of tickle fights and is said to defend his championship ring against many involuntary challenges. I mean, it was kind of fun at first, but then he just kept tickling and tickling and I couldn't breathe. I almost died. When I noticed him hiding in those bushes over there, he jumped out and yelled, you'll never take my ring. I'm the champ. And before I knew it, I was on the ground being wrangled like a crocodile. It was so traumatizing. With the number of tickle attacks rapidly rising, police are urging anyone who witnesses an attack to report it immediately. We're hoping videos like this help catch the tickler once and for all and get justice for his victims. This has been Cody Wake, Deacon News. Uh, and now uh, to sport. The Matildas inspire us all with a fourth place finish at the FIFA Women's World Cup. After a tense match, Sweden overcame the Matildas 2-0, but the long-lasting impact of their efforts will change the sport forever. Also, a sweet surprise for the Matildas with artist Nikki Webster appearing on stage for a performance of the Matildas' favourite pre-game song, Strawberry Kisses. And now to the weather. Tomorrow, a low-pressure system will sweep across the state for most of the day. As a result, prepare for cold start uh, with around low 10s and highs of around 15 degrees by noon. Now, how about the weather in Melbourne? Business as usual, right? <laughs> right you are, Tony. In traditional Melbourne fashion, expect sunny, clear skies for the remainder of the work week, with warm temperatures topping at 23 degrees before a rainy weekend, with rain and low temperatures around 10 degrees. And introducing for the first time our community submission segment, where we showcase the local talent for snapping the weather in Melbourne. Our photographer Kenny Dewitt sent us some lovely photos from his sunset walk yesterday evening. Oh, would you look oh, at that? Oh, lovely. That's a very nice picture. It, Could it be just, orange. Oh. oh, well, that one's... Not very clear, but... Oh, it's, it's not a wonderful so, effort, Kenny. Not so bad, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, ah! Oh, and a lovely, <laughs> a lovely pet here. Uh, that. Beautiful dog, Little Kenny. Corby. Very <laughs> nice. <clears throat> ah, thank you uh, for the wonderful display. <laughs> if you would like the chance to have your photos on this segment, send your best snaps to Deacon News. That is the headline news for today. Stay tuned at 9 o'clock for our late broadcast. This has been The Tickler, Tony and Kate. Good night.